Hey everyone, it's Sarah. We are in my kitchen again. Today I am doing my very first video for the video a day in September and I thought that I would make cauliflower buffalo wings for you guys and for myself really, not for you guys because I can't have any unless you come over. Uh, anyway, I've never had cauliflower buffalo wings before so this is also my first time making it and trying it so you'll get both the recipe from me as well as um, my initial like thoughts and reactions to it. I'm going to be using the recipe from Hot For Food. I like um, their videos and all the recipes look really delicious so I have high hopes for the recipe and I guess with all that said let's just get started and make it. Before you do anything else you need to turn your oven to 450 degrees. So for this recipe, we are going to need one head of cauliflower that has been chopped into roughly the same size pieces. You need half a cup of non-dairy unsweetened milk. I chose unsweetened almond milk for this, but I've been told other milks work too. You need a half cup of water. You need three quarters of a cup of flour, and then you're going to need two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of paprika, and some salt and pepper. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I was just whisking the flour and the spices together, then adding the non-dairy milk, giving it a mix. Then I added the water to that and mixed it all up really good. I ended up adding a little bit more water. I think that might have been an accident because it was maybe a little bit too runny, but it seemed a little bit too thick. And then once it was all mixed, I started dipping the cauliflower into the mixture and then kind of tapping it off a little bit so it was to get off the excess and then putting it on the parchment. I ended up having to make a little bit more batter, which I just winged. Have fun in the oven. See you in like 15 minutes. In this bowl, I've mixed together some melted vegan butter or margarine and some barbecue sauce and some sriracha sauce and just mixed it all up. And once the cauliflower is out of the oven, I'm going to coat them in that, put them back in the oven for another 25 minutes. Okay, so I have coated the wings now. So these ones do have the barbecue and hot sauce mixture. Whereas this one, I felt like I wanted something a little bit different, so I mixed up some peanut butter, some sesame oil, and some maple syrup, and a little bit of hot sauce together, just to kind of have like a sweet and spicy kind of thing. Um, that was a little bit different from that one. So hopefully they turn out. That was just like my own creation. So I'm hoping that that one tastes okay. That one should taste fine. It'll taste like regular barbecue thing. So I just gotta put them back in. They're going in for another 25 minutes again, being flipped halfway through. All right, so this is the moment of truth. I took one of each out. Mm -mm -mm. So this is the one with the peanut butter, sesame oil, maple syrup, hot sauce thing. And this is the one with the barbecue and hot sauce. So first I guess I'll taste my um, odd peanut butter creation one and tell you what I think of that. So um, the seasoning itself is a little odd but the taste of like the cauliflower and stuff is good. It's um, kind of mushy and a little bit stringy I guess. Kind of like chicken. Um, obviously it doesn't taste just like chicken because it's not chicken but um, it's not too bad. And this one is the, the barbecue hot sauce one. Let's give it a taste too. That one is really good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep, definitely makes you forget that you're eating cauliflower. <laughs> um, it kind of fell apart a little bit, but yeah, it's really, really, really good. I would recommend them. I don't know why it took me so long to make them. I've been wanting to for a while. I guess because it is a little bit 
a little bit of work to make. Like it took like an hour and a half maybe to make because you gotta uh, make the batter, coat them, put them on the pan, bake them for 25 minutes, flipping them halfway through, coat them again, put them back, flipping them halfway through for another 25 minutes, and then take them out. But um, I think they're worth it. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's it for this video. They're definitely worth it, worth the time to make, worth the time to eat. Um, they're pretty good. I don't like that they all kind of got a little bit burnt, but that could maybe be done by like, turning it down a little bit, the temperature, but not too much or else they won't get crispy and cooked, but, um, or maybe cooking them for a little bit less time, but either way, like, they're really good, definitely would recommend them. I will see you tomorrow with my next video. Toodles noodles, bye!